if you could have witnessed how many times I flung my camera or my phone out of the, the phone holder for this tripod while attempting to position it for this view, you would have been embarrassed for me. I'm surprised the phone still functions as much as I've flung it around. All right. Oh, after that arduous task, now we will begin the fun part of this video. <laughs> so today we're gonna to be doing another densely compacted stitch pattern, very similar, but this one's gonna have a little bit more definition, a little bit more texture than the previous ones that we've worked. And this will be the last one of this type that we're working. So uh, I wanted to include this one, though it's very similar, I wanted to include it because it offers a bit of variation on what we've done already. So I've changed yarns, because I got sick of looking at the yellow. Because if you haven't noticed, for some reason, I went through a mustard phase, I guess, and I have been inundated with so much golden yellow mustard colored yarn that I'm just, I'm done with it. And this is something I knit for myself. It's a big cardigan. Maybe I'll show it sometime later. <laughs> so we're gonna start with this beautiful, not mustard color, this purpley, beautiful wool here. And we're going to start with a slip knot. So I'm gonna make my slip knot you don't know how to do this, I suggest you go back and watch my previous videos where I cover the basic foundation stitches that we'll be using in this. So we're gonna chain a multiple of two, so I'm gonna do 28 like always. Just kidding, I'm just gonna do 20. I think 20 will be just fine for this. <clears throat> okay, now what we're going to do is we have our chain of mul our multiples of two. You can do however many you want. I'm just doing 20 for example purposes. So now we're gonna double crochet in the fifth chain from the hook. So let's find the fifth chain. One, two, three, four, five. That's gonna be this guy right here. I'm gonna yarn over insert, pull up a loop, pull through two, and then pull through two again. Now I'm going to double crochet in each chain across. So let's go ahead and work our doubles all the way down this chain. Well, I tell you what, I'm just having one of those days. <laughs> the yarn is getting caught on everything over here, <laughs> the corner of the desk, <laughs> my patience. All right, let's take a deep breath, release. I will get through today, I will. There might be a nap somewhere involved along the way, but I will get through today. This yarn's having a tough time coming out of this cake. So I'm having a yank on it here. Let's get some pulled out there. All right, I'm placing close to my last double crochet here. I think I got like one more to go. Yep, one more in that last chain there. It's always the trickiest one to do. All right, so this is what we have so far. We just have a, a row of double crochets which is beautiful in and of itself. So now we're gonna turn our work. We're gonna chain two. We're gonna skip this first double crochet and we're gonna single crochet into the next one. So here's our first one right here. We're gonna single crochet into this next one. 
And I just do a slip knot or a slip stitch, probably. Knowing my luck today. <laughs> so now it starts our pattern repeat. So then we're gonna double crochet in the next stitch. And then we're gonna single crochet in the next. Double crochet in the next stitch. Single crochet in the next. So our repeat consists of one double crochet. Let's do that now, one double crochet, and then one single crochet. And we're gonna work that all the way down. Guys, I'm having such a hard, hard time right now. <laughs> Everything is just fighting me. Okay, double crochet, single crochet. Double, single, double, oh, single. <clears throat> double, single, and then when we get to the end, we're going to be left with our turning chain. We're going to add a double crochet into that turning chain. Perfection. So this is what we have so far. Now we're going to turn our work. We're going to chain three. One, two, three. Then we're going to skip this first DC. And then we're going to next, we're going to work um, a DC in the next stitch. So we're going to DC or double crochet all the way across. So now we're just going to place all of our double crochets. And the difference between this one is that now we're alternating um, those variegated height stitch rows with double crochet rows, which is going to give us a beautiful pattern. And in previous stitch patterns, we would just alternate stitch um, alternate double crochet and singles across, but this one we're just doing alternating rows of plain double crochets and then alternating the double crochet and single crochet, if that makes sense. I feel like I'm blabbering and not making any sense. So we're double crocheting all the way across. And then we'll place our last double crochet here in this turning chain. So we've got our turning chain left. Go ahead and place your double crochet in that. And that's going to be the pattern repeat. So here's what we have so far. You can tell this is going to be a very gorgeous, gorgeous dense fabric. So it's going to have these um, beautiful rows of pattern here. And then it's going to have plain rows of double crochet. So this is going to be a gorgeous stitch pattern. So let's repeat row two which is we're gonna chain two, we're gonna skip that first double crochet, and we're gonna single crochet in the next. Then we're just gonna work alternating down the line. So we're gonna do a double crochet, <coughs> then we're gonna do a single, then we're gonna do a double, and then we're gonna do a single. And we're gonna keep repeating that all the way down. Now, these videos will serve a dual purpose for you. So it's going to teach you a new stitch pattern, which you're going to be able to add to your repertoire of stitches whenever you're wanting to create something or, you know, just wanting to learn a new stitch. And also what I found useful is that often I design patterns and I'll, you know, have trouble deciding what stitch pattern I want to use. So I just go to my YouTube channel and I look at the thumbnails and I'm like, ooh, I want that stitch pattern. And then I just watch the video and then I'm designing something. So I did that last night. So I have a scarf that I'm designing with one of the stitch patterns I've already done. So hopefully you find useful 
um, that useful as well in your designing adventures. Okay, so now we've just completed our row two. Now we're gonna turn and work our row three, which is gonna be chain three. We're gonna skip that first double crochet, and then we're gonna double crochet in each stitch across the row until we get to the end, and then we're gonna place a double crochet in that turning chain. Don't forget to place your double crochets in your turning chain, otherwise your work is gonna to start to shrink, and you don't want that. I love the stitch pattern, it's so pretty. We get to the end here, I'll show you what we have so far. And then I'm gonna hop off and work some more of this off camera and then come back and show you what it looks like <clears throat> once we have some fabric worked up. All right, so this is what we have so far. Look at that, how pretty that is. It gives such a nice texture to have that row of alternating stitches in between the double crochets. Such a lovely stitch pattern. All right, so I'm gonna work some more of this up and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like. All right, that literally took me minutes to work up. I'm talking maybe four or five minutes to work up to this height. So this is a very quick working stitch pattern and it's also beautiful. <laughs> So this would be great for a scarf, for a hat, for a shawl, for a sweater that you want a really warm sweater for. Uh, definitely. All right. So that's it for this stitch pattern. It's a very simple one. If you like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, click subscribe, do all that fun stuff to keep me making videos. We got a very interesting stitch pattern coming up next, so make sure you stay tuned for that one. I'm super excited to cover that one because I've never seen anything like it before. All right, see you next time. Bye.